how to master business conflict with NLP, I'm going to give you three simple NLP techniques. And, and, and with conflict, I'm talking about where the emotions can run high, either yours or someone else's. And I'll make sure, you know, true to my form is to combine it with positive psychology and a little bit of neuroscience as well. I've trained over two and a half thousand people around the world in NLP and combining it with the scientific, the latest scientific research out there. So here's for you. Um, tip number one, NLP technique number one, which be having an understanding about uh, the emotion in general. What is a, a negative emotion? Or a, the emotion tends to have a curve. Yeah, so it kind of goes up, 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 and then it tapers down. That's an understanding that we frequently use in NLP. Now, the either the curve up of, of the emotion building um, in, in positive psychology when it relates to positive emotion, you call it the broaden and build theory. But let's just say it's, it, it's a negative emotion in this case, is that it either dials from 0 to 10 very quickly, in that case, you're probably dealing with an emotional activation of that person. That's really not about that business meeting or really not about you either. Uh, that's usually either their own inability to deal with the situation because they've never been taught how from their parents. It could even relate to a parent of theirs that was easily to emotionally agitate. Um, those are usually patterns that really don't relate to anyone in the room. Um, and for some reason, someone shoots in fight, flight, or freeze mode. And uh, that's one, when it goes to zero to 10 anger management issues, you get the idea. That's not about your communication. So two, it can also be sort of like slowly building. It can be slowly building by what they're saying to themselves inside that meeting, which means that they may even stop listening to you entirely and play your voice in their head and has nothing to do with you anymore, and yet you're receiving the emotional response. But it could also be that it is something that you are doing, like critiquing the other person, and then sort of like you bring them up to that emotional state. Now, the nice thing is, is that at some point there is a peak and then the emotion will taper off, you know, in a mentally healthy person, that is. So you need to be sort of careful what you do, that you, you want to be careful that you don't keep making it worse um, by, by building that curve higher and higher and maintain it. And you want to make sure that you don't intentionally or unintentionally elicit that negative state. And so you want to make sure that you don't try to address this thing, this problem, this communication, when the emotions are already up here. That makes no sense whatsoever. That doesn't work. The person is not listening to you. From a neuroscience point of view, the brain is less flexible, less open to new ideas. It's just in fight mode, so to speak. So you have to wait for that to taper off. You could just briefly interrupt the meeting. You pan or interrupt it, let's say, um, so, uh, studies in positive psychology have shown that counting to 10 actually really works. Um, so, so, that, so that would be my first tip. The second tip is, is that if you can prepare for the actual meeting, is to actually prepare from it from five different perceptions of NLP. So the first perception is probably the one that you're in. It's like, what am I feeling? I am angry that this team worked four months on this project and they didn't deliver. That's your position, probably the one that you're most familiar with. Um, but you also need to prepare for that meeting from that other person's or people point of view. So you step into that person's shoes and you see, hear, feel, smell, taste what they do. And what if it was you that worked four months on this project? You know, and and the and the and 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 it was the other person critiquing you. What would you? How would you want to approach that? You can also prepare for the meeting from a third perceptual position, which means that you're more thinking about about it like a logical observer, like you're watching a movie. That gives another lesson. You can also look at the whole project from a whole department or a whole company point of view. What are the lessons learned there in how you're going to have this communication? And then there's ultimately the fifth perceptual position, one that a lot of NLP trainers never even mention, but that is about purpose, meaning, source, 
uh, serving the greater good, those types of things, God, um, peace, the best version of yourself. How do you want to handle this meeting from a pe person who actually masters kindness and compassion and collaboration and flexibility and adaptability and leadership skills that make people want to follow you because they believe that you're an emotionally intelligent leader. And so those five perceptual positions will really help you mastering um, that business conflict. Um, the third piece of advice is that you must interrupt the pattern. You must interrupt that growing of the, the curve of the emotion. So in order to cut that off, like at the beginning, rather than letting it escalate, uh, in the thoughts of that person in your communication um, is to actually cut it off very early on. So interrupt the pattern and, and you could crack a joke in that space, uh, a, a clever joke. You could say, hey, before we start to get all negative again, let's, let's, let's not go there. Um, maybe you can even allow everybody else to step into these perceptual positions that I mentioned in tip, tip number two. But what really works here as well to sort of go, hey, I can see that you just got a negative emotion. Am I correct in understanding that you feeling, are feeling a sense of anger right now or a sense of fear right now? Can you tell me what specifically is going on inside your head right now? And then you sort of, you acknowledge the emotion, you address the emotion, you ask what the emotion is about. And that allows, I mean, you have to do that early, not when it's at peak, but that allows for a whole different segue out of that emotion, out of that situation, cutting that, that curve down at the beginning by simply acknowledging that there are emotions in the room rather than what frequently happens in business communication, pretending that there is no emotion there where there always is. So those are little tips from the world of NLP, neuroscience and positive psychology to master business conflict. If you want to learn NLP, contact my back office, globalnlptraining.com. Just fill in the contact form or check for the free products that we have. Um, you can ask me for a visualization, an audio visualization that combines goal setting with how to navigate obstacles using NLP and positive psychology. Would be more than happy to send that to you. See you around.